it is important. What's important? It's important to be part of community, and here's the reason why. It, it, I, I myself have struggled with community my entire life. I've been through a lot of traumatic events that has let the enemy tell me who I am, tell me my identity, and tell me that I don't deserve to be part of a community. And there's lies that I tell myself. One being one of those is I don't deserve, I'm undeserving of people's love, or I'm not wanted in this community because I'm different, I'm weird, I'm odd. The list can go on and on. I'm going to tell you why community is so important as a Christian. I myself have grown in my faith. I have grown in, in reading the scriptures. I've grown because of my community. Community, community, community. When th there was a time where I would isolate and I would barely go to church. Um, I would go to young adults on occasion. Even then, I wouldn't really go because I would physically go there, but then either leave during the message or I would isolate at my own table. And I refused to be connected to anyone because I felt that I needed to protect myself from the Word. And I felt like I needed to be protected from people. I had a very warped view of the Bible, and I thought it as a big giant rule book that we have to follow, that people thump people with when they're not behaving in the Christian community. I was raised this way by, by multiple places, including uh, a church that I was raised up in, which I won't say out loud what, what church that is, out of respect for that church. But as I grow in my community, I find myself changing, growing, becoming the man that God called me to be today. And it's because of my peers and my mentors and people of authority at South South Church that I've been able to change into what God has called me to be. And I think if someone like me who isolated, didn't want to be part of the community, didn't want anything to do with community whatsoever, preferred the comfort of isolating a home, I think anyone can change. And I think you as a viewer could change if you allow yourself to lower your guard and be part of some sort of community. And it's not just important from a Christian point of view. I've seen people without communities and they don't thrive. They don't grow really, kind of grow a little here and there, but they're, they're stunted and life's a lot harder for them. And I've seen people in community and I see them thrive and grow. It's, it's like taking a tree and planting it in the middle of a forest rainforest the rain comes you know that's been the community and that tree just poof grows and grows and grows but if you take a tree that's not meant to grow like in a desert it doesn't it doesn't grow very well it doesn't make any sort of impact in their own lives now i've heard the analogy that sometimes trees um, in a desert will of course scientifically grow their roots down so they have really deep roots but barely get any water. In the one in the forest, the roots are more towards the surface so they're not as stable. That's the side point. Anywho, thank you for joining me as I talk about this for about three minutes and why it's important to be part of a community. Um, if you haven't, I suggest you get part of a community, especially if you are a believer in Christ, because when you're around other believers, you can bounce your beliefs and thoughts and grow and change and magical things happen when you're part of a community. Thank you. Thank you for watching.